How's it going today, everybody? Today, I wanted to do a review on the PS4 back button. This is almost three months into having it. <clears throat> Prior to that, I used this scuff impact all the time until the stick started drifting really bad. And I tried to contact customer support, but they never really contacted me back. They just sent me a form to send it in and they couldn't quote me any price or anything. So eventually I went to trying to fix this myself. It turns out the thumbstick module was broken. So I decided to get the PS4 back button. I got really excited once I learned that there was gonna be a, a back button coming out for the PS4. So I went to Walmart and they actually had one on the display for $25 instead of 30. And it was out there like five days before the release. So they made a, they made a goof. They done goofed and I, wound up with this bad boy a couple days early. I put out an unboxing and an initial review and this is the review about three months in. This is just my experience with this. Some people might have different experiences. In my experience, these buttons, the quality of these two buttons, aside from not having four like this, or depending on which scuff you have, you may have only two buttons. These are way better paddles than the scuff paddles. Way higher quality paddles, way more durable. I, I've never had a problem with the durability of the paddles. The issue was always that the thumb sticks on this, they're the same thumb sticks, whether you have a different cap, whether your scuff has a different cap on it or not, it's got the same exact insides. Those parts on the inside of the guts are the same exact things. So here's a PS4 controller regular without a back button. Here's what it looks from the top with one. There's the back with the back button attached. In my experience, the back button doesn't really use any extra battery power or anything like that. It may use a small amount, but it's like, it's not even really a noticeable amount to be honest with you. Another benefit to the back button is you can put it on different controllers. This bends, you line it up and you just slide it in. It feels a little bit awkward the first time you put it in. Once you learn how to put this on, it's easy and you get the benefit of putting it. Oh, you get a back button, you get a back button. Can't do that with this. I spent about $160 on this and it lasted me, I'd say about a year and a half, which isn't bad. You know, if you really beat your controllers up and you competitive and you sprint a lot and hit your L3 button or, you know, do certain things, eventually every controller is going to wear out. So my thing is, if, if money's even a factor, I would highly suggest getting the back button as opposed to a scuff controller. I like scuff controllers, don't get me wrong. I don't necessarily like their customer service. Maybe that's just my own personal experience but I would highly suggest getting the back button. So this is the three month review of the back button. So it's easy to put on. One of my favorite things about the back button is it's got three different profiles. So you can program the two paddles to be whatever buttons you want. So if you had magnetic remapping or whatever it's called, which I didn't have on the scuff. You can basically do that digitally with the PS4 back button at the touch of a button and have three different profiles for three different games that you might want to play with different key mappings or whatever. So I would highly suggest that that's an area where it beats this. Oh yeah, did I mention it's $30? $30 for the back button instead of 160 so with $30 you could buy one back button and like three controllers for the price of one scuff I like the shape and the feel of the scuff in my hands but I don't necessarily think that it's worth the money unless you just unless you're necessarily making money off playing games I wouldn't necessarily suggest this or unless you have a bunch of disposable income and don't care about having to replace a controller or paying for multiple $150 controllers. It's unlikely that you'll get a controller like this and that it'll last three years or whatever. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect any controller to last over a year, honestly. 
if you play a whole lot of games. So that's where the back button really shines. You know, I purchased this controller and I purchased this controller recently. This is the actual original PS4 controller. I don't know how it's lasted this long, but it has. You can see this is pretty worn out on the thumbstick. It's coming apart. I usually use thumbstick caps and stuff on these, but can't even put one on there. But yeah, I would highly, highly, highly suggest buying a PS4 back button, giving it a try, especially if you already have a PS4 controller and maybe your scuff's messing up on you. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments. Everybody have a great day. Scuff, I'm sorry. I love y'all. I might see y'all again sometime, but until then, you're just a paperweight. Love y'all.